to the student kitchen with me, Dale Hurst. Today we're going to make cottage pie, a grand old British dish, um, and probably one of the simplest things, although albeit not not necessarily the quickest dishes to make, but one of the definitely one of the easiest that you'll ever meet coming across as a student. Uh, we start off by preheating that oven, well any oven. Uh, at 190 degrees or gas fire, depending on what you've got. And with that also, we're not going to use that for a while yet, we're going to be using the stove at the moment. And we've got a little bit, a little bit of olive oil in here, you can use vegetable oil if you want to, just a little in a saucepan. And then you want to do yourself a whole onion, a whole carrot and two cloves of garlic, which you're going to put into this pan here. Make sure you get it all in there. This way it's not one that after all. Turn it on and uh, basically put it up on a reasonably high heat because we don't want to be here forever. And what we're going to do is we're just going to soften it. We don't want to fry it, we don't want to, you know, cremate it. But uh, we want it so it's all reasonably soft carrot, onion and garlic all. So go around it with a wooden spoon and just keep doing that until it reduces. There's a lot of standing around and watching things in this dish. Now, while that does that, and that could take, you know, depending on how high your heat you have it up, it could take up to five minutes. So you have the patience of a saint for this dish. Uh, we've got beef mince here. Put it in in batches. Right, there we go. This is beginning to uh, soften up now. So turn it down a little. And just with your fingers, just chuck it in your mince beef. Chuck it all in. This is 500 grams worth. That will give you a decent portion. And basically, You've broken it up a little bit then it won't take so long to brown. What we're going to do is you're going to brown it for three minutes. So work it with the spoon with all the oil and onion and garlic juices. Just make sure it's all gone brown. And as I say that will take roughly three minutes to do. Mince is quite an easy thing to use really and it's just as well that it's the basis of several simple student dishes such as spaghetti bolognese um, chili con carne that sort of thing so if you can do mince for one of those dishes you can do it for pretty much anything keep on working that mixture everything will begin to reduce and it will become easier to uh, work with the spoon now then have a kettle boiled or boiling while you've started this dish because in a minute, once this has all gone brown, the meat, that is, um, got to add 400 millilitres of beef stock, hot beef stock. So, have a measuring jug to hand and just pour in the boiled water, I mean if it doesn't have to be, you know, as long as it's hot, it doesn't have to be boiled. Really. You want, I'd say, two stock cubes to give it a really nice, rich flavour. And this doesn't have to be, you know, OXO cubes. You can just have the regular standard Asda brand ones. And just stir that in, it'll all dissolve. And just make sure you ain't got any lumps in there. Now that that's all um, bubbling and brown, and just season, well, season this really, salt, not too much, it'll dry it out. Uh, white or black pepper, we're not really that prejudiced. And uh, thyme. Lots and lots of thyme. Thyme does very well with beef, so well, it does pretty well with anything, actually, in my opinion. So there we go, lovely, lovely. And then, on, and then just pour in the stock. And stir that in. Turn that down, right down, and let that simmer for 30 minutes. Because at the same time, you have to prepare your topping 
in here is two King Edward potatoes worth in some water which you're going to boil and, until they're soft. Now, what I will say is um, that if you're on low carb diets or no carb diets, you can get rid of the potato thing altogether and do carrot, swede and parsnip mash instead just to make it that little bit healthier because there's a lot of starch in potatoes. But uh, because I'm going for the traditional way of cooking this dish, we're still using mashed potato as, as the topping. So two King Edward potatoes and like this one, you want to boil them until they are soft. keep that one on quite a high heat because that'll take forever otherwise. So you've got half an hour to play with. So now that's been boiling, well simmering, for 30 minutes and has had the potatoes which I've just gone ahead and mashed just this minute. Uh, just a little bit of butter in there. So you've got the mixture, meat, meaty, oniony, you know, cottage pie-ish mixture which you want to just spoon in with the juice, well try not to get too much of the juices in, but of course it all adds to the flavour. You should find that there, you know, there's enough in there to evenly distribute around your dish. And I think that you might as well just tip it away. Not let anything go to waste. There we go. So that looks gorgeous. So now, on top of that, just top it with potatoes. You don't have to be particularly elegant with it. And what we will have eventually is what constitutes as a cottage pie. Of course, you can repeat this recipe with lamb mince and it, the only difference will be that it will be a shepherd's pie. Just spread that evenly. Don't waste anything. Then all that needs, there you are, that's a pre-prepared cottage pie. You just want to stick this in here for half hour or so. You'll know when it's cooked because it will be golden brown on the top. We'll wait until then. Right, let's see. There, you have your done cottage pie. And just with a spatula, fish slice, call it what you like. This isn't going to be fantastically presented, but then again, it never is with me. Make sure you've got lots of sauce and whatnot. And plenty of potato as well. And you can serve that with peas or whatnot, just eat it as it is. But uh, call that cottage pie. Well, I've been Delhurst, this has been the Student Kitchen, and I've made cottage pie. Goodbye.